Today I'm visiting Schubert Phyllis, an Amsterdam-based uh, IT company, and I'm talking to Lotta Croisette van Uggelen and Daniela Resch. Uh, Schubert Phyllis was one of the first companies who started with self-management, and I'm really happy that today we will be able to, to speak with them and interview them about this uh, self-management practice. So you already mentioned it, uh, Schubert Phyllis is a self-organizing company, um, and you said when we were doing some chit chat before the interview that it has been from the beginning. So can you explain how did this happen? Why why is it this way? Well, the three founders, Pim, Philip, and Gerwin, they all worked in IT, and uh, when they worked there, they saw that if a problem really had to be solved, uh, it was better to put the experts uh, in the lead in one room. We call it the whole system in a room, and then take decisions or find solutions for crisis or incidents. Uh, so, but they also saw that in the end the customer was unhappy with the system uh, and the engineers felt frustrated because they had to work in silos or the uh, manager decided what to do. And they saw that this crisis model of the whole system in a room with all the experts actually worked far better. Uh, so when they uh, founded Chubafidus they thought, okay, if people can decide in their personal life, for instance, to buy a house, or they decide, they decide that they would like to have children, or something like that. Why suddenly, if you work in a team with a customer, in a team, uh, you need a manager to decide if you can go on holidays, or where to work on, because we're all well, sensible people, and we have something in common that we want to make 100% uh, satisfaction for our customers. Um, so that's why from day one, um, we think in some areas it's very useful to have managers. It's not that we are against it. It's just that in our setting, we believe it's it's okay. It's it's actually very good uh, to work without it and have given people. Well, you have your own responsibility for your life at all times. So also in a team. So if you promise something together as a team or as a person, as an individual to a customer, how cool is that? That makes sense now in life. So what I hear you saying is that the main driver was that it is more, um, it, it gives more results and gives you a happier customer. Yeah, because in the end, because it's maybe more human, no? In the end, you want to feel responsible for your own life and your own work. So it's closer to nature, if I can say. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. Yeah, because sometimes I speak to organizations where they do it because they believe it's not good for the people who work there. That it's not, yeah, they're not natural to be uh, told what to do. And some organizations are more focused on that you get more results. So I was wondering where your emphasis is. No, I, I wouldn't say emphasis, but it is part of our story. Because of course, if people are happier or feel more in charge of their own life, they feel less powerless, they have less stress. That's actually the reason why we won this award. Um, so it, of course, it has a business effect as well. Nothing, yeah, wrong, nothing wrong with that. No, it's more of a result, like one of the result of their results of each other, right? So if, well, people that feel good in their workplace and that don't have any constraints, well, official constraints, obviously there's always keeping the best interest of the company in mind, but then they can deliver results. So that's, it's somehow a cycle here that, how I see that. 